Hey everyone, welcome back to the Drecky series here. This is Jason and welcome to yet again another Minecraft tutorial. This tutorial is however going to be a little different. Within this tutorial I'm going to show you a very nifty and useful thing you can do with Minecraft commands within the game. As you can see on the side of me right here, we have some floating text within the game, as well as also coloured floating text. And I'm going to show you how you can actually get this within your Minecraft world. Now this is basically available, as I said, through Minecraft commands. You do not need any Minecraft mods in order to do this. And uh, all you need is one Minecraft command in order to create floating text within the game. Now I'm in Minecraft 1.16.5 and I'm on the Java edition. I'm hoping that the command will also work in Bedrock as well. So console, pocket edition and that kind of thing. But just before I get into the tutorial right here, I just want to remind you I do lots of different Minecraft content. So if you do enjoy the video, be sure to check out the channel and subscribe. And as you can see, we have these different colored text objects right here. We have, of course, Hamatan, of course. And we have obviously the date and obviously the most important thing, of course. <clears throat> um, you guys need to do that. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is a very, very simple thing you can do within your, within your Minecraft world. It's very, very useful for custom maps, very useful for creative projects. Now, within the description of the video, there's going to be a template command that I'm going to get you guys to use in order to actually get this floating text. So go down into the description and find the command and make sure that you've actually copied it on your computer or on your device or whatever. All right, everyone, now you just need to pick where you're going to place the text. So I'm going to put my text just over here uh, in this massive hole that was created by some TNT, as you can see right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the command that is going to be in the description of the video. So it's not a very big command at all. And I'm going to very quickly just go over what all of it does. As you can see, we are actually summoning a armor stand. Now, obviously, armor stands are used for uh, putting on armor or to display armor within the game. And we actually have some tags. So, as you can see, we are spawning it at our location. That's what these three tilde characters stand for. And as you can see, we now have some parameters in these curly brackets. So the first one is invisible. Now that is going to make sure that the armor stand is not visible within your game. Obviously that's very important. Now the next one is invulnerable. So what that also means is that you can't actually hit it or kill it. So essentially you can't reduce its entity health in quotes, I guess you could say. Now the next one is no gravity. So this makes sure that it doesn't fall down to the ground and the armor stand is gonna stay where it is. The marker variable is a bit of a weird one. This one just makes sure that it has a really small hitbox. And the next bit is the most important. As you can see, there's also a tag or a variable called custom name. Now, as you can see right here, we have a text element right here. And between these curly brackets where it says your text here, this is where you place your text. Now further along, you can see that you can also actually assign a color to your text. So at the moment it's using yellow, but you can use a few other colors like red, blue, and so on. Now, the final one is obviously making sure that the custom name is always visible. So that is the full command. It's a really, really simple command. And obviously, um, I could be, uh, I could put some text in here. So let's say uh, Big Bang for the TNT with loads of exclamation marks. Now, if I press the Enter key or the Confirm key, once I've done that, you can see that we now have some floating text within our Minecraft world above this massive TNT hole right here. Now, another quick thing I'm gonna show you within this tutorial is how to move these bits of text. And it's very, very simple. All you need to do 
is know the name that you've assigned to the armor stand. So in this case, we've got Big Bang. And if I want to move that text so that it's above this set of redstone lamps right here, all you need to do is fly to where you want to place it. And then all you then need to do is do the following command. So slash TP and then at E and then you do name equals and then a quotation mark and then you place in the name of the armor sand so in this case we've got big bang and then all you then need to do is free tilde characters afterwards now if you do a command like that you can see that i've now teleported that bit of text to my location and that allows me to be able to move the text very easily within my minecraft world right here all right, everyone, thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something new. It is a very useful command that can be used in many different areas within Minecraft. But if you did enjoy the video and learn something new, then a like on the video would be very, very much appreciated. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter link is in the description, or you can use the Twitter that is currently on screen. So that's at Diraki Series on Twitter. And please also subscribe to the channel if you want more Minecraft content. So Minecraft Redstone, Minecraft tutorials, that kind of thing. And uh, please also click on the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. And I'm hoping to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal. So if you could support the channel, that would be also very much appreciated. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you find this very, very useful for within your Minecraft world. And I'll see you guys next time.